He's won every match with his opponent getting a single frame. Three, four ones. Thank you, it's the first a frame. A five one and a six one. Neil Robertson to break. Just as he did in the semi-finals last night, Robertson will be keen to make an authoritative start. You can say it's not the best break off because he has left a red on. Just depends if he can attack the red and miss the black. Cue ball not close enough to the cushion, but it looks like the cue ball is going into the black, so I'm playing the safety. and knows how dangerous Wu Yeezer is. He has beaten him. Head to head favours Robertson two to one. European Masters. Wu Yeezer one five three, so he can do it. He knows he can do it. confident pops and he was leaving that red along the cushion had it not gone in there was no fear on that shot that wasn't a shot to nothing Found the path Nine. in and out of Bork, and that couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> the heavy scoring version of Robertson was certainly on display, as has already been discussed when he played Wu as a at the Crucible last year, it was Wu's debut and it was a baptism of fire because Robertson made breaks of 100, 138, and then twice in the last three frames, he put together a 146, winning 13, 10-3, if he can approximate that kind of form today. Hard to believe he could lose. Well, nothing much your opponent can do about it when you knock one of those long reds in like that. Twenty. I'm sure we'll use it. We'll stay focused. Wasn't a bad safety. He was kind of forced into taking the long red on. There's no return safety. Well, you don't want to force this man into playing a long shot like that. Twenty-one. 
28. Yeah, he wanted to be a little closer to the yellow. And not quite on the green for a left-handed player. Just a little awkward. Force that cue ball round the angles there. It's finished beautifully on this race. 31. Six reds surrounding the pink. Need some attention. I don't think anything 32. goes there. Possibly a red to the ball corner. Forty. If the shot works out, it could be one frame, one visit, one nil. Well, he's on one, I think. Maybe not. I don't know if the red will pass the blue. It's a little bit unfortunate there. Any kind of a pot, and you fancied him for it. Queuing so well, it's like he's been out there for an hour already. He won't want to take liberties. And he'll... Try and put, push a red safe, if you can. Because at the moment, there's nothing safe. Foskier. Yes, brilliant. He weighed all the situation up and determined that he may as well have a go at it. The red was on to the bot corner. Start 51. this is for Neil Robertson. Start he could only dream of knocking a long red and win the frame, and there's every chance of doing that now. 52. They say that absence makes the heart grow fonder. The absence of success for Neil Robertson over the last couple of years must have come as a shock to his system because he's a serial winner. Been deprived of that of late. And so getting back to winning ways, that will feel so good. And that's why he gives the impression of being fiercely determined. 58. Fifty nine. Yeah, 
good shot. One more red in the colour. 66. And what a start. He'll yeah, want to keep. Will use a quiet sat in his chair. Won't want to have any table time whatsoever. 67. Just made absolutely sure of the black. 74. Seventy-five. He's made nine centuries so far this season. Made forty-one last season. Here, Robertson, seventy-five, and first. He's got the stick on those marks as of now, but what a start! Neil Robertson will be delighted with that. He's already made his presence felt. Going to see a trophy named after someone who wasn't just a phenomenal player with those six world titles, but also he remains arguably the greatest ambassador for the game there's ever been. Wouldn't argue with that, Phil. Sitting there looking up to the screen was Neil Robertson's son. We saw him celebrating last night in the moment of victory in the semi finals. <laughs> yep, there he is, Alexander. So, good break off. Making Neil Robertson study this shot. Miss Wiese, four. Now, any damage. I think he may take this red on to the bot corner. If he puts it back, he could find himself in the middle of that cluster of reds. Yeah, I think it's important for Wiese as a two player natural game. Doesn't need to yep. compromise what he normally does best, which is knocking balls, but there he's asking Marcel Eckhart, the referee, to replace them. Yeah, that's not a good sign for me, that, because he could have took the long red on. He wasn't leaving anything except the red he was playing on. And if it goes in, he's nicely on the blue. And who yep. knows, he could have won the frame there. Yes. He's got to stay positive. Can't be afraid of what he leaves his opponent. He's got to believe in his own ability. <laughs> and now he's got no shot. And the Just way the these safety. things work, Joe, sorry, the way these things work, he was always going to sort out that shot second time around anyway, having appreciated what he needed to do with the first mistake. Yeah, that's what I was saying, is that, you know, the second time around, he's going to get the shot he intended to get. And 
Wu is a little bit fortunate there. A fraction harder than that red would have been on to the middle. He hasn't got to be afraid of going for his shots, staying attacking. That's what's got him here. The English Open has a habit of producing big name winners. Robertson hoping that will continue. If Robertson does prevail today, he would be the sixth consecutive, either former or current world number one, to capture this title. And he would be the eighth straight world champion. at a possible three ball plant to the right corner there it is and that looks on to me he'd have to hit the right hand side of the red as well looking at it it would reverse and obviously he'll play the cue ball back down the table Of course, with the time difference, it's prime time back home for yeah, you agree on you yeah. Plenty of people will be watching. And maybe plenty of people will be a little relieved that we're not going to have a tactical stalemate there. The two players looked at each other. The referee got involved as well. And I think that's entirely the right thing to do, to call a rerash. One of the great aspects of modern snooker is that we don't have these extended bouts of meaningless safety the two players have mutual agreement they get on with it and re-racks occur a lot quicker now than they used to 
Yeah, we've seen re-racks go down to the blue, haven't we? <laughs> All the red's gone. Yellow, green, brown. And on the blue, we've seen the re-rack. I was thinking about Wu Yuzha playing in prime time at the moment back in China. Lots of eyes will be upon him. He's from Lanzhou, the capital of the Gansu province in northwestern China. It's on the banks of the Yellow River and on the northern Silk Road. <laughs> massive city that's produced a massive guys, snooker please. talent. Delighted, Michael. Thank you. Second frame, we easy to break. We had a small problem there, Joe. The lights went off temporarily. Well, this time, the break-off, not as good as the last one. Could be a red onto this right corner if you can miss the black. Well, didn't miss the black. Now, well, the easy red has gone safe, but there is another red to the right corner not quite as easy and you are going to need the run of the ball to win tournaments there's no doubt about that and Neil Robertson certainly got it there <laughs> oh, that's his first ball Sounded good. One. But this is not straightforward so far. There's his father there watching on. Goes with him all over the place. That's the cracking pot and a great kiss. And he played the kiss. That cue ball would have been in the bulk area had he not got the full ball kiss. So obviously he did play the kiss. Stay on this red to the left corner. Nice. Very good. But this isn't straightforward. He, yes, he can go into the pack. He can play a little cannon. But it's not straightforward. He couldn't land ideally on this red to the left corner. 16. That wasn't a good second flick, and the cue ball Foul. going in off. It? And as I said earlier, you need that little bit of run. Very attacking shot that he played, opening all the reds up, but no idea what was happening to all the balls there. But that second flick sent the cue ball in off. Without the flick, he'd have been on a ball colour. And when you go into the balls with such gusto, I'm afraid that's occasionally an occupational hazard. So unlucky. And in so many respects, Wu has done Robertson's work for him. No balls to develop, just pick off. Yeah, he's got to concentrate on the black with the pink and blue Eight. in difficult positions. But that shouldn't be a problem for a great positional player like Neil Robertson. Mine.
16. Seventeen. Twenty-four. In many respects, for someone as good as Robertson in amongst the balls, this is uh, an exercise in connecting the dots. Yes, he's very good at staying focused. Concentrates on the easy shots as well as the difficult ones. Just a, a touch of left hand side to miss that red and finish on choice of reds. Yeah, as we look at Muguza, he was very unfortunate, played a very attacking shot. This is the shot again, and that second flick on the red took that cue ball into that boat corner. 41. Forty-nine. Yeah, just showing the you know, the grip of Neil Robertson there. Some people 56. hold it with the whole hand. Some people just use the fingers and. Some people play with a light grip. 57. So just looking at the scoreboard, 45 points the lead. So another red and a colour. Should seem safe. Nicely played. Sixty. Brown puts him fifty two ahead, with just fifty one left on the table. Would dearly love to see this red in. 65. All doubt about the frame now. Comprehensively he's, removed. He's seeing them, isn't he? 70. Seventy-one. 
Greenbow. Seventy-one and second frame. Wu Yiza suffered a very unfortunate in off. Neil Robertson did for the rest. His second seventy plus break. Two nil. The lights were dipped in between frames. And I think that's symbolic of Robertson's career of late. Seems as though he's going from darkness into light. Well, you can consider it a good break off when you don't leave a, a long red to go for. In this day and age, you leave a red sticking out, it can be end of frame as it was in the first frame. Neil Robertson knocked in a long red, end of frame. That's a good reply though, and we'll use it. By the way, what a smashing venue this has been, Joe, for the English Open. From the very first day of the very first tournament here, you just knew the crowds were going to be good. In fact, they've been better than good, they've been exceptional. Yeah, they certainly love this snooker here, don't they? Well, that's a good safety, but he has left a red on to the left corner. Black, not available to the right corner. Now, well, can he see enough of that red? I'm not sure he can. And even if he can, difficult to get to a colour. And it's not worth the risk for one point. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see enough of that red. And as I say, it's not worth the risk, the cue ball's going into the reds. Now, brilliant. And somehow, he's got that cue ball out of there. No emotion from his father there, but that was a, an exceptional pot. I didn't think it was worth it, but it proved me wrong. And well short of Weezer. pace. One. Didn't play to pop the green, played to drop in behind the brown. see this red going to the right corner otherwise we wouldn't have played that shot the way he played it and leave that red on if he missed the snooker Another mistake, and again, nothing easy left for Wu Yiza. He's made a couple of mistakes, but got away with it. Yeah, that could have been very expensive. Still might, but only with a really good opening pot. Well, he was very positive in taking that long red on, wasn't he? And that's because maybe he couldn't see a safety. There is a safety 
that he can play this time round. It's a very difficult pot to take on. The one red below the pink. Looks like he's playing it though. Yeah, nicely played. And again, he could have been a little bit more fortunate in landing on the colour. The blue is on, but again, pressure. Nicely played again. Well, after what's happened to him already, those are two Six. really good shots to stay positive and play them. Seven. if he doesn't miss an easy ball while he's in. Neil Robertson's shown him the way. The pink not available into either of the corners. Nothing's well, gone straight forward for him so far in this mini break. A little switch to left handed. Now, oh, has he gone far enough? Body language says yes. Giving him all the support 25. I could wish for. Again, left handed. Oh, that just squeezed in, but he's nicely on the pink. He's actually scored more heavily this week than Bill Robertson. He's made three centuries so far. Two against Ali Carter, 1-2-6 and 1-2-3 in the last 32. Also made a 1-0-8 against Judd Trump in that quarter-final victory. Yeah, these four reds just to the right of the black are all covering one another. But he's on one. 32. Pink will go to the left middle. So doesn't need to do anything fancy with the cue ball here.
33. Black also available. What a good constructed break this has been so far. 40. But it's important now he finishes the job. Forty one. He's done all the hard work. Black a little trickier than it should have been. And a nice little cannon on to the red to hold for this red to the right corner or the one to the middle. 48. Oh, that's what he, he cannot afford to do. It's a simple red to the middle. He was going so well. Ishbreed Singh Chad had did that a couple of times in their semi final, and it cost the Indian player. Will it cost Wu? Well, if you can pop a red here and get onto a colour, they're all there, aren't they? <laughs> Nothing safe. He did all the hard work. All very well to dominate the first two frames, but if he could steal this one, it would have far more psychological impact than either of the previous two. Oh, sometimes you never get over those type of shots if you if you're punished for them. One. A little straight on the blue, but he's got the advantage of the red to the right of the pink. So I fear the worst here. Oh, we'll use that. And this is where Robertson's vast experience is so invaluable. He appreciates from such involvement in so many finals the vital importance of fully exploiting this chance to really hurt his opponent. And make no mistake, it will hurt. 14. And it would take a special kind of person to get over that. Thirty. 
Ah, he looks in a mean mood this afternoon, Neil Robertson. 37. He, he actually doesn't look like missing. Everything is going in, in the middle of the pocket. If we use it as looking for potential problems for his opponent, he doesn't have much solace, does he? Okay, the green's off his spot, but it's perfectly accessible. Yeah, this is the simple red, and it was just a simple red. It's a lack of concentration, maybe a little careless, taking it for 45. granted. Well, the wrong side of the blue. I can't see it being too much of a problem. It's a natural path to come back up for the yellow for a left-handed player. needs up to and including the blue. But a couple of minor positional misjudgments in succession have left this shot a little more complex than Robertson would have liked. Taking and he's took them and again 59. Well, he needs the blue, and he should have been better on the blue. No mistake, and this is going to hurt you. Use that. After the outsider missed the red to middle, there was nothing Wu could do. Neil Robertson forges into a 3 0 lead. He'd be saying, I like the 70s. So far, he's made breaks of 75, 71 and 77. Yep, and the break-off, not the best. He's brought the red down the table. It is cuttable to the middle, not easy. But possible. I think that's the first ball he's missed. And it wasn't easy. Yeah, I think it's a measure of just how good he's been so far that the crowd seemed stunned. Oohs and ahs when he had the temerity to miss one.
So what kind of mental strength has one user got? It was good to see him go for that long red, played it in such a way that he wasn't leaving anything except the red he played on. I could be tempted by this red, in fact, the safety is very difficult. Again, he could only leave the red he's playing on. And he's done just that. Left the red on. Unofficially, the first day of autumn. It never rains, but it pours for Wu Yuzha. One. Robertson in again. This is like another 70 break here. Six. Seven. So leaving an angle on this red to bring more reds into play. And if this works out, it's going to be opening the reds up. Fifteen. Couldn't have played that much better, but they didn't really split as open as what he expected. One of Robertson's great abilities, because he is such a heavy scorer, he's well accustomed to spending a lot of time at the table. Now, when you do that and you're consistently potting, the one thing you need is very sharp and unrelenting concentration. So he's got to try and leave an angle on the black at some stage. He's got a couple of reds still to play for, but he might decide to go into them on this next black. Not the best angle on the black to go into them from. So I may play for that loose red. One trait of this table this week 
is that playing that particular shot off the top cushion, you've got to give them a thump. And Robertson is well equipped at doing that. 39. So it's going to be on this shot, you would think. Perfect angle to go into them. It's not the best pack to go into from the black. But we'll see how he plays it. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Now, is that red going to finish over the middle? Well, as I said previously, he's getting the run of the ball. Uh, can he see that red? Well, that camera angle shows as he can. It's thin. Half a roll more, Joe. That would have been a formality. I still think he can pot it. He can't control the cue ball as well as he would have done with another roll on the red. Well, he doesn't think he can. Well, that is not the best yeah, safety shot he's ever played. And that's a terrible shot. That's the first poor shot he's played. Imperative that Wu Yuzha takes full advantage here. can't afford to miss him his head must be in bits after the last frame but you know he's gonna get chances let's not beat about the bush though Joe that was a sitter that was a shocking miss one yeah I don't think the interval can come soon enough now for you will use that Robertson was a part of his chair, like a, a greyhound there, wasn't he? He's got one more loose red, and if he can land on that red, it releases Seven. another one to the right corner. So his choice is whether to go into them here or play for that loose red. Chose to go into them and miss them completely. I don't know how he's missed that lot. And he has. Twelve. Just looking at the gap that he found, it didn't look possible. And not easy to get a good safety here. Looking at a possible plant. I'll be trying to take that cue ball back down the table. Oh, right in the middle. Right in the middle. And he got a very good safety had it not gone in. 13. Especially queuing off the side cushion like that so awkwardly. What a pot. What a shot, actually. Yeah, easy way to land up behind the brown, isn't it? But... He wants to give himself some insurance in 
Okay, so where we use the gets in. Pushing the yellow to the cushion, and that's very clever. Most people would have just rolled up behind the brown. But looking ahead, if we use the does get a chance, then that yellow is going to be a problem. Not difficult to hit. I doesn't want to hit it too hard and develop a red. It's got a reach as well. It's a long way off. That's a shot from a man that's in bits. That's better. It's a long road back into the frame, but there is more than enough for Wu Yuzid to turn this around. Mind you, the vibe of the match at the moment suggests he won't. I think he needs the break, Phil. Ninety-five percent point success rate for Neil Robertson through three and two-thirds frames. That will definitely get the job done. brought the yellow off and he needs a bit of luck and I think he's got some can you see this red no there's confirmation yeah the complexion of this frame changed in one fell swoop yeah the clearance is on if he gets the chance Nothing safe now. Short time over a minute, but that's perfectly understandable. Critical juncture of the frame, this. Yeah, and he's in big trouble. Got to try and cover that red over the left corner. He needs a big bounce. Oh, has he covered it? And the answer's no. Not the easiest of starters, for sure. Oh, 
But it, it is a chance. Now, he needs to be on a colour. And he's on one. one. Can Wubi as a return the compliment with a big clearance of his own? How welcome it would be. Well, looks like the pink is the ball to me, but he's looking at the yellow. Yellow ball. Played into the reds. And he's on one. And this is a great chance. Seven left on the table. Four. Sixty behind when he came to the table. Nine. I think he'd have a chance in this final if he could make the clearance here. 3-1 is not too bad. It's looking like 4-0. Two. Two. And this will show Robertson Wu's temperament. Difficult enough to make a clearance like this to salvage a frame if you're 3-0 up. Let alone 3 0 down. Yeah, and with what's happened to him, especially in the last frame, missing that easy red. But this is what real true champions are made of when they can put that out of the mind pretty quickly. This is a good red to have dropped on. I think he played for the other one, but this will do. Needed to be closer to the black. 26. To keep things simple. Played it well. Played it very well. It would be handy to play for the pink here. Get the pink back down on its spot and it makes the clearance a little bit easier. It can get to the pink. Thirty-four. And he's played for the blue. Yeah, great shot. Great shot. Forty. Yeah, one good positional shot. And he'll be favourite. Played it with a lot of side on the ball. Doesn't want to be dead. Oh, would 
you believe it? Oh, Dead under the cushion. Two. It should have been two each this match. It looks like it's going to be 4 0. The way the snooker mind works, it would have been better for Wu for Robertson to win this frame of the century. That will be a, a crippling blow. Free. Snooker's required. He was unlucky to finish dead under the cushion. It's not over yet, and the cue ball. Wow, the cue ball was so close. I think he was engaging in a little bit of snooker theatre there, Neil Robertson. He must have realised it wasn't going in. But only one snooker needed. It's one of those, Joe. In practice, he wouldn't give this a moment's thought. But this kind of snooker, in this kind of situation, we've seen them missed so often. Well, it looks like he can hit the brown. Just depends how much he can hit. Could go in off. looking to see whether the gap exists and the hesitation tells us it must be extremely borderline looks on there doesn't it Still one snooker required, but now only two balls to hide behind. <laughs> At 25 minutes, the lengthiest frame of the final so far. I always say that when you're playing for snookers, you've got to get the object ball saved first. Wow. And that could have gone in off, couldn't it? Just a... A few Robertson mistakes beginning to creep in. Well, if you can't get a snooker, make sure you get the blue safe. That's the way. You get another shot then. Trying to play for a snooker.
Hope not yet extinguished for Wubiza. Robertson just wants to get into the interval with a clean sheet. If he plays the blue really thin, cuts it to the side cushion, bolt cushion, might have a chance of getting the cue ball in behind the pink and black. Well, I don't recommend that. Five. The pink and black was in a nice spot there. Well, it's a snooker. It shouldn't prove too difficult, but who knows? When it comes to laying a snooker on pink and black, better make the, the most of your first chance because you might not get another one. Certainly didn't want the black on the cushion, but if he does get in behind that black now, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Almost impossible now. This might bring back good memories for Jimmy White, who won his first ranking event. needing a snooker on the pink and black in the decider. And so it goes on. We're trying to play a cannon to the black and just bring it off the cushion. Might be able to do that here. But get the pink safe. It's close. No yeah, good effort.
Another good effort. Of course, Wu is uh, obligated to carry on, needing one snooker, that's all. But maybe the end is nigh. Got to be careful of the in off. It took a while, 33 minutes to be precise. But Neil Robertson's domination of this Bed Victor English Open final continues on. He leads Wu Yuzza by four frames to nil. Yeah, good opening shot. We'll use that. Oh, that's a big mistake. Missing the balls on the way down. advantage One. cannot afford to hand chances to Neil Robertson like he has been doing now various reds he could play for but he'd like to get onto that red that's to the left of the black spot the one just above the black and he's on that red that was nicely thought out. Six. I say that red because when the black's repotted, as we look at this mist red again, it will be able to spot Seven. now and go in both pockets. Wu's highest break so far, 48 in the third frame. 14. That really here should be under threat. And yeah, and it should have been a big break. He missed the easy red to the middle, didn't he? On 48. 15. He's going to play with some inspiration, as the boys were saying. But he must cut out the easy misses, the lack of concentration. 22. The mistakes are few and far between from Neil Robertson. 31. But if he can punish the rare ones, it will make him think a little.
38. Thirty-nine. Yeah, and I think Jimmy White's dead right. He needs to win this session three-one. At the very least. Well, he's not on an easy red, but he's on one. And the problem he's got now is 46. he's got to pot it because the reds are open. Cut to the right corner is easier than the one to the middle. <laughs> no. So it's very similar to what's happened previously. The user has been in at another 46 break. He was a bit unlucky, wasn't he? Not to finish on an easier red than that. He got into the reds nicely. And had he been on one, I'm pretty sure he would have won the frame there. As it is. He's got to rely on Neil Robertson not splitting those four reds below the pink. It is, though, a similar feel to the third frame when Robertson cleared with 77. The chance of a clearance not quite so straightforward, but very much within Six. his range of capability. Yeah. making up his mind here it's not the difficulty of this shot that's coming up he's trying to work out the plan to best go about this yeah he wanted Ten. to leave himself an angle on the blue and go into those reds with the advantage of the red over the pocket that's what he was thinking about but he couldn't get the right side of the blue to play that shot he was saving that red over the pocket now he's got the angle to disturb them and I think it's going to be on this shot if this works out. Yep, nicely played. A well judged cannon that, leaving himself on the red to the right 17. corner. saying that it looks a bit tighter he played for that red
the use of side to try and coax it in, but I think that's too much of a stretch. Well, that's the red he played for. He played a gentle cannon to the Reds. I think that if this red doesn't go, it's the first time that Neil Robertson's let Wu Yizer off. It's the first time he hasn't punished by winning the frame. Neil Robertson, 17. I delighted who oh, is a... Tempted by the red to the left corner. He's got a couple of reds he could play. One by the pink spot, which is some safety with it. got a, a very risky red to the right corner. <clears throat> Looks like he's taking it on. No, just a safety. And that's a little bit of insurance, the red on the right side cushion. Yeah, two things that Wu Yuzer needs to do here. One is obviously contain Robertson, but also try and mess the frame around a little. With a 29-point advantage, that would be to his advantage. was only awkward for a few seconds. <coughs> awkward no more. Wanting to take this red, thin red to the right middle. Yeah, somewhere there, if he can put the cue ball somewhere there, he covers both reds over the middle pockets. going for it. This is what he wanted to do. He 
is in the hands of the gods. And that's another chance for Neil Robertson. He wasn't patient enough there for me. It was a very difficult red to the middle. Yeah, he's got to try and make something happen, but not take on crazy shots. No red remotely near a cushion. All six colours on their spots. Or near as damaged. Fun. Six. Eleven. The red closest to the cue ball. Now that's one point where Robertson might fall foul, but not after that. That's on the sixpence. 19. to be straight on the black and I think he has got a slight angle to get the cue ball down into the bulk area. on the final backswing there was a noise in the audience and rightfully so Neil Robson standing back up reapplying himself I'm so pleased Robertson knocked that in just about 26 stopped the shot beforehand 27. And now, really, it should be plain sailing. I think, who well, is that? It's beginning to feel how Ishpreet felt yesterday when he was um, running away with the semi final. One. Much time, just an hour and a half. Thirty-two. And that's with a, a thirty-three minute frame. Thirty-five. Seven. Now he didn't quite get hold of that yellow, he's still okay, but didn't quite get the reaction he wanted. So a little thinner on the green than he wanted to be. 
40. Played it with a bit of left hand side on the cue ball to check it back across the table. He's missed it. Wow, that is unexpected for Neil yeah, right Robertson. Forty. Wow. So he can miss. Just needed the brown, really, because he's always going to be bang on the blue, which he needed. This isn't far away from being a snooker. It was the knock-on effect there, wasn't it? Just not quite right on the green, then a little further away from the brown than he should have been. Even so, the missed ball came as a surprise, and now the, the frame takes on a whole new complexion. Yeah, it started with the yellow for sure. He didn't finish on the green, but you know, he, he finished OK on the brown. So, slight swerve. Won't know where this is going to finish, and it could be over the middle. It could be over the middle. Oh, it's gone safe. Brown behind the black. White behind the blue. Not hard enough. That was a good chance. I mean, he's a long way off that. And now he could be in trouble. Good safety from Neil Robertson. Not quite a snooker, but still a good safety. Just the brown, it would have been worth taking the double on. Yet another absolutely crucial frame. Yeah, the double kiss is on if he plays the safety. Up and down, that is. Should be okay that way. a really good chance to clear up as Robertson did by wobbling the brown sometimes the balls conspire against you oh, oh that's that's not a good safety the cue ball could have just drifted slightly before it got to the brown and he's hit it too thin I was 
Ryan's not going to survive another. What a terrible shot that was on the pound from Wubi. Is a... How many more blows can he absorb? Wow, again. Well, if there's ever going to be a turning point in a match, this could be it. He's had two golden chances, Neil Robertson. He needs a big bounce, otherwise he's going to have a tough pink. One good shot. No problem. Uh, never easy, these type of pinks, when you need this for your first frame of the afternoon. And rightfully so, just having the cue ball clean, taking a breath. It's just the pink he needs because he's going to be on the black. Eleven. Relief for Wu Yiza. Forgets absorbing blows. Wu Yiza has just inflicted one. Neil Robertson out of the blue misses the blue. And now Mr. Wu Senior has his smile back. 4-1. title is up for grabs today until a few moments ago it was one-way traffic but suddenly the Neil Robertson juggernaut is stalled <coughs> Thirty-seven ranking grand finals for Robertson, and this is where his vast experience will be invaluable. Just try and dismiss what happened in the previous frame. Get on with this, but that's much easier said than done, Joe. Yeah, and to be fair, this is the brown that he missed in last frame, and the blue. Well, just two incredible shots that you don't just don't associate. Neil Robertson missing those kind of easy frame winners. So much else on the line apart from the trophy. A place in the Champion of Champions at Bolton in November. That's a covered inv invitation. Also, the winner here, considering the points they've already amassed this season, will be pretty sure to be in the World Grand Prix and the Players' Championship. And for Robertson, victory would give him top 16 status again.
We haven't had many safety battles so far this afternoon. But this isn't straightforward for Neil. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. So thin on the red to get the cue ball back there. Well played. But a big target here. We'll use that. Try and get the cue ball in behind the yellow, green and brown. He's looking at taking the pot on to the corner. bit of good fortune there the red coming back across the table and stopping the, the attempt at the red to the middle so just the safety This has got to be close. It's going to be very close. Yeah, that's a very good safety. Big target. Could have played that same shot last shot, but decided to play the attacking shot. Doesn't look like he can get through the gap, but obviously he can. And found the gap between the reds. And he'll settle for that. Not quite a snooker, but still a good return safety. So often when you win a frame, you might have been destined to lose. You get in early in the next with a, a red from distance. like that <laughs> wonderful shot oh, can you see enough of the brown terrific pot
Well, obviously you can't see enough of the brown to pot it. The yellow, surely too difficult to take on. Green ball. Where is it one? Tempting to hit the red on the black cushion. I'm not very far away. All the mist falls in. Now, He's a four. Can he be tempted by this red? He hasn't even had a, a look at it. adjustment it looks a bit high that's not the red he wanted and that's left a chance who will use that you see it so often matches change in the blink of an eye and this one's in the process of changing one yeah. Yeah, there quite a few people here will have been at last year's final when Judd Trump was miscuing and missing balls falling 7-3 down to Zhang Ander and then all of a sudden the light went on and he one nine seven. Six. I think he played the cannon to the red, but he'll take it. Now it's happened. Just got to drop this in. Dead weight. Yeah, just about got the right side of the blue. Only just. Eighteen. Oh. 
19. I'll say it again, can't afford to miss easy balls when you're in amongst them. It's OK if he runs out of position. Can always play the safety. Just slightly awkward queuing. Oh, we stood by a long way. Louise, uh, what happened there? That was like a a golfer topping his tee shot miles it, away. It was awkward queuing, wasn't it? But you know, he's missed that by well. I'd be disgusted with that. And now he's in Neil Robertson's hands again. And the way things work, if Robertson can win this frame, what happened in frame five, it wouldn't be forgotten. But the pain of it would be diluted. Well, he's got a nice angle on the blue, just to drop it in, come down the two cushions for the two reds by the pink spot. It's just a natural shot, this. Uh, could have done with being closer Six. to these reds. Not going to be easy to get to a colour from there. a little easier but it's again not going to be easy to get to a red from the blue not impossible but it'd take a good shot Worked out pretty good, although the black's not going to be easy to get to a red from if he does pop this red. So that's three shots down the line. The red's tough, but the black's even tougher to get to a red from. And it's the only viable option to continue the break. Good part that, especially at that pace. Yeah, now what? Terrific shot. Terrific pot and position. Twenty. Is uh, missing that straightforward black to the corner. Well, 21. not straightforward, it was hampered. It looks like it's going to be costly. Although, after what transpired in frame five, I'm 28. not going to count my chickens.
36. Not been the most reactive table all week, having to thunder these blacks in. 37. Yeah, normally he'd swing the cue ball round the two cushions for the two reds into the left corner. But that red closest to the right side cushion just comes into play. Forty two. And now despite the the fact the red's close to the pocket, this is missable. Well done. 43. Yeah, good box. And back in good position. So these two loose reds should be enough. 49. See Neil, Neil Robertson back with his four frame lead. 50. It's another frame where Wu Yuzer has handed it to Neil Robertson. Oh, he's under hit that one by a long way. Fifty seven. Needs another red and a colour. This is the red that we missed. Well, the kiss on the green. 58. Sorry, the kiss on the blue makes the green a little bit more difficult. And he needs the green. Green ball. Yeah, good pot. Excellent pot. He knew that's all he needed. There was no 61. attempt to try and get onto the red there. The green was sufficient. But a nice yeah, table for snoopers, of which is in one. an argument to say that Robertson's 61 break there was his best of the afternoon given the psychological context. And we've seen this a lot. One of the reasons why a few frames have dragged on because Robertson's put the frame supposedly safe, but we is a continuing on, rightly so for a snooker. This looks pretty good.
It's been quite humid all week. Lots of rain in the forecast for England over the last few days, including today. Bill Robertson wiping down his cue. Not straightforward. Two cushion escape. Just one snooker needed. Just um, the pink and black in a very good spot for snookers. The yellow, green, and brown also. And even the blue is in a good spot. So this game not over yet. He needs a kiss. And that is a very good snooker. And the free ball comes into the equation as well here. Well, the escape here would challenge anyone. And if he does miss this, Phil, then... He could be in trouble the next shot. It could be snookered again by trying not to leave a free ball. Close. Foul. With a four. Uh, this is what I was saying is that he could be snookered again here. And again, not easy to hit this one. And this would ease the pressure of not getting the black or pink off the door last red. If he should miss this, he can take more or less anything. Foul and a miss. <laughs> Where's a fall? Yep. Yep, it can go back now. Sorry. Sorry, I think I forgot. Yeah, it's lots of brown, isn't it? Settle for that. That could have been a lot worse. Yes, and the four point penalty out of the second snooker made no difference because he still only needs one ball, does Robertson. What a kiss, what a kiss. It's swervable, but you never quite know 
where it's going to finish up. But that will do nicely. Yes, and although it was a good kiss, there's no doubt about that. It also knocked the blue a little safer. And bear in mind, Wu needs them all. Yeah, he's considering taking it on, but it's one of those that if you miss that, it's frame over. What a nice little angle that was on the middle pocket. That's where he played the cue ball, but he lost total control of the red. Oh, everybody's having a good look. Can't see how much you can see of the red, if anything. So what a good angle it was. No, it was drifting away, wasn't it? Where's it for? Yeah. You can't hit that. Referee's going to have to be accurate. Has to be said, this is turning into something of a marathon session. The last up. three frames, all really lengthy. Well, they might have all been quite short. Followed a similar pattern. One player going in front, but unable to... Nail it down. Then comes the drama. Well, can he hit the red? He, he couldn't hit it before. A slight swerve. So, this. Weezer. Uh, full. Now, is this red going to be on to the middle? Does it? Doesn't like it. Was the brown on its spot? That's Desislava Boshilova, the marker for the match. Maybe just the tiniest little touch. No like problem. majority of matches in professional snooker don't have a marker when there is one there in place it Brown makes this replacement red, process it's, it's shot is not a little there. faster Well, he had to swerve it, didn't he? Well, he? Might be able to hit that direct. <laughs> 
Robertson's once healthy lead being <coughs> eroded all the time. Delighted with that outcome. Lengthiest frame of the match so far, eclipsing frame four, and there's still plenty of snooker to go here. this red on it would take a, a very good shot the blue is a little easier now No attempt at the pot. This is what he played. But a chance here to get the cue ball in behind the yellow. And maybe even bring the pink into play a little bit more. It's close. Just too hard, but a good cue ball. And that makes the situation easier from blue to pink. If Wu Yuzu gets the chance. It's a good effort. Another good effort. Just over 15 minutes since his last pop, Neil Robertson. Well, that was so risky to play. The cue ball only has to deviate ever so slightly and you leave the red on like this. I thought it looked unnatural to try and get the cue ball in behind the blue. Wow. 
thought it was staying on the lip there for a moment. And it was only the speed that helped this red to drop. That was the okie koki shot in, out. And I think it shook a few people about before it actually dropped, including Robertson. Just the pink needed. It's the need to get ideal on the yellow. to one snooker again. Seven. And if he can knock in the yellow, it would be two. Yeah, he doesn't want to let that white ball run around. Neil Robertson, seven. So many talking points this afternoon. I think, for me, the one thing that will stick in my mind about this session, really is a, as good a player as he is, has been guilty of about four or five appalling mistakes. Two. And that eases the pressure on Neil Robertson. 30 points, the difference. Two snookers, two four-point snookers needed. Well, one five-point snooker to tie. Neil Robertson, two. Everything would indicate that Neil Robertson's going to take a 5-1 lead. That would mean he'd be guaranteed to be in front going into the evening. But it's been one of those sessions where the snooker has taken an awful lot out of both of them. And maybe this frame isn't over yet. Well, so well judged that shot. Called it, Phil. It's not over yet, but still another Three snooker needed. Four. It's going to be close. A 
And so is that. Oh, wow, that was close as well. It's a frame that refuses to end. I don't see any value at all in potting the brown. We is there. Free. So many frames have ended up being really nervy, really edgy. It's close. It's close. Now, can you get to the black cushion? If you can, it's not too difficult. But if you can't, it's not an easy snooker, this. You've got to give it a, a lot of thought. And part of of the thought processes. If you miss it, don't leave the brown on. At this level, it's not just about laying snookers when you need them, it's about laying good ones. And that's what Wu has done. If he misses this, he's got to leave the cue ball on the black cushion. So that Wu doesn't have a, a chance of potting the brown and clearing up. What a good shot that was. What a good shot. That wasn't an easy snooker. Excellent. He was composed, took his time, thought about all of the choices, and he played the shot on the nose. Cue ball's close to the pocket. What is he doing near there? Only Robertson four in the frame. An abrupt end to what was a very lengthy frame. Neil Robertson gritted that one out, and he's back in front by four at five one. Neil Robertson to break.
after the disappointment of losing frame five, Neil Robertson will be feeling a lot better. But he's been involved in so many finals, he will know it's important to press home the advantage. Yes, it was a hard-fought frame, the last one. Neil Robertson was in a very nasty snooker behind the blue. But he gave it all the consideration in the world. Thought of all scenarios and attempted to hit the brown and he hit it well. <coughs> and had he missed it, he wouldn't have left it on. So thought of everything, didn't panic. Well, he told us what his game plan would be. He's being very careful, very cautious, very professional. Nothing spectacular about the way he's built this 5-1 lead, but he most certainly deserves it. You could say he might be 6-0 up, but then again, you could say it could be 3-3. It's been that kind of afternoon. Incident packed. just played this shot just a little too hard bringing the cue ball away from the ball cushion and it's offered who is a, a half chance Yeah, never easy, but it was a chance. Got to cover that red nearest the right middle pocket. Oh. 
Well done. Uh, what a shot. What a shot that was. Yes, there was safety involved. But now that it's gone in, he's got to be brave and go for this black and open the reds up. And that's okay. He's got the red to the left middle. Eight. So important now that he takes what's there and doesn't miss anything easy. And yes, it, it is easy to say that. But these top players shouldn't really miss anything really easy. That key Nine. ball needs to keep running. So I've got to take the more difficult yellow. The opening red was good to see. That's the embodiment of what's best about Wu Yizza. He's a frightening potter. Yeah, but it was a, a well worked out pot, wasn't it? He hadn't left anything. And after it went in, he was nicely on the black. Trying to become the seventh Chinese player to capture a world ranking title. Zhang Ander broke through last season at the International Championship. Seventeen. Yeah, well, that's okay. Didn't really catch the reds thick enough, but it's okay. He's still on this red to the middle. If he catches them thicker, they open a little easier. And he's still on the red to the middle. Yeah, just what we were saying. Cannot afford to miss easy shots. And he's done too much of that today. One of those smiles when you don't feel like smiling. One. And again, another in a long line of Wu Yuzha blunders. He's missed several really easy pots. And he's botched several straightforward safeties and given Robertson a gift such as this. I'm sure Wu Yuzha will learn a lot from this match. 
one of the most important is concentration on the easy poles. 14. Fifteen. Yeah, we mustn't lose sight of the fact he's still only 20 years of age. He celebrates his 21st birthday next month. Seventeen. But I thought given his skill set and given what he's been doing in his professional career, how he's been improving, I thought he would acquit himself better than he has. Still time, but it's running out. Not ideal on this red. May have to screw back for the blue. Unless you can get closer to the black. And he could. 22. Thirty. Thirty-seven. Yeah, we'll, we'll be thinking about some other shots he's missed. But to be fair to Neil Robertson, he has punished, hasn't he? Partly because he knows how much it hurts to punish a person's missus. And that all helps to heap the pressure on your opponent. Yes, and Robertson grimly determined to and that drought, that title drought of his. And when 46. opponents miss balls like that, he is going to be ruthless. And rightfully so. That's what the players are there for. Fifty-three. So red colour red should be enough. Leave we need in snookers again. Fifty four. And after what's occurred so far, as he takes a, a peek at the scoreboard, 61. he want to see this red in. Well, this red leaves two snookers required.
That's three snookers. Worth carrying on if he gets the chance, but I don't think he will. 69. 70. Centuries this week have been unusually thin on the ground for Neil Robertson. He'd love to make one here. It would be 949 for his career. 86. 91. Absolutely spot on position on the blue and pink. 97. Terrific turn. The lefty from Melbourne tightening his grip. Losing frame of the afternoon. It is absolutely essential that Wu Yuzu wins it. Even then, he'll be in a heap of trouble, but there will be a glimmer of hope. At 7 1, you would assume. Robertson will be crown champion later. Uh, an attacking safety would be Dead on the cushion behind the yellow. And that looks good. Match time. Two hours, 43 minutes. And that's with three long frames in there. Yeah, it's actually a little bit... Lengthier than that because the official match time doesn't include the frame that was re -wrapped. Yeah, good safety.
shorter pace. Apart from the fifth frame, which Neil Robertson handed on the plate to Wu Yizik when he missed the brown frame ball and then missed the blue frame ball. He hasn't missed anything easy in amongst the balls. Whereas Wu Yizik in every frame. Except for the first, of course, when Neil knocked in the long red and made 75 off it. Wu Yizik has offered him chances, unforced errors in every frame. Having a look at a possible plant there to the right corner. Well, looks on. No idea what's going to happen to the cue ball though, if he takes it on. Cue ball's going into the reds and from there it's anybody's guess. He's going for it. Well, it's a risk to take those for length of the table plants on. And now Neil Robertson in doing what he does best. Well, what an opening this is. Yeah, he's had five maximums in his career. Neil Robertson, that's in tournament play of course, he'll have had hundreds in practice. Eight. And that's after that attempted plant completely misfired. So you called the 147 early there Joe, well, I was thinking about it. <laughs> well the thing is that I'm sure he'll be thinking about it. Although, of course, the frame is all important. So he'll make sure of the frame before making sure of a maximum. In fact, there you go. The pink ends all thoughts of that. Frame more important. Well, he's made two one four sixes against Wu Yizer in the past. Maybe he's no. I was going to say maybe he's looking for a third. Robertson is 104 in the previous frame. It was his joint highest break of the tournament. Had a 104 against Jackson Page in his first match here. He's only made two centuries. But this yeah, could easily be a third. Yeah, but he's made plenty of 70s and their win frames as well. He's a very intimidating player, Neil Robertson, and when he's flowing around the table, he can be very intimidating 
Doesn't look as though he's going to miss it. More often than not, he doesn't miss. The most successful overs he he's, he's player. And I can't think of another player that's more exciting to watch than Neil Robertson when he's in full flow. This red just goes to the corner. 28. Yes, he's lifted 23 World Ranking Event trophies. Next, best non-British player on the list, Ding Junwei with 14. Robertson currently seventh on the all-time list of ranking wins. One more than Mark Selby. Yeah, so he's in very heady company. 35. This break needs some thinking about because all these reds are difficult to get onto and it's got to be accurate with this positional play. And so far he's done just that. Looks easy because the reds are all spread nicely, but he's had to be very accurate. Forty three. You can never feel totally relaxed in a final, but when you're six one up and in the balls like this. Forty four. I think it's the nearest state to feeling relaxed. He's given it full consideration because, as I said, all these reds, it, you, you've got to get on the next one ideally because they're all covering one another. Got to be very, very accurate with positional play. 49. And that wasn't very accurate. And that's a good recovery. Every single opponent who Neil Robertson has played here this week has managed to win just a single frame. That's how it is with Wu Yuzha right now. The match, the final, the title slipping away. Lovely little cannon to leave himself nicely on this red. Everything just falling into place. He scored heavy today, you've got to say. And that's been 64. the big difference between them both. He hasn't missed anything easy, apart from that fourth frame when he missed the brown and blue. He's had 370 breaks, 61, 104. 71. 
Real punishing stuff. Real intimidating stuff. 72. And it could be back to back centuries here. No reason why it shouldn't be. Seventy-nine. Well, has that his chances? I suppose tonight he should just come out and try and enjoy himself and have no thoughts of winning, just to enjoy being out there playing. Eighty-seven. Eighty-eight. So many stories this week. John Higgins became the second player to make a thousand centuries in professional competition after Ronnie O'Sullivan. Neil Robertson, he'll be getting to that milestone. Maybe this season, certainly next. And could notch another one right here. Should notch another one right here. The black fall back to back centuries. D10 world champion. 113. The 2021 English Open champion. Has looked like his old self, and that is great to see. would be the first to agree he's been helped by some woo years and mistakes 120 some bad errors from the younger man 125 but the class of Neil Robertson looks like prevailing He wants them all. Superb. Total clearance, and one has to say, total command. That's because at the end of the first session of this Bed Victor English Open final, Neil Robertson, watched by his son Alexander, leads by seven frames to one.